One, two, three. Greetings, Connor and friends. Today we're going to be studying Henry's Law, learning about Henry's Law. Henry's Law was created by William Henry in 1803. Henry's Law is a gas law. It states that the solubility of a gas in a liquid is directly proportional to the pressure of that gas. What is solubility, you may ask? Solubility is the ability to dissolve, to dis ability of a substance, the ability of a substance to dissolve or be dissolved. That's right. <laughs> okay. So today we're going to be explaining our experiment, Lily. Okay. So we have Sprite, Coca Cola, and Diet Coke, and we're going to be pouring them into the baby bottles, and the carbon dioxide should rise up into the balloon and cause the balloon to swell. That's our hypothesis. <laughs> yeah. our, hypothesis. our hypothesis is that once we pour the drink in, the carbon dioxide pressure will blow up the balloon. Okay. The, there are two oxygen atoms and they are combined in a covalent bond with one carbon atom. To make carbon dioxide. The reason why we have to use cold beverages is because when the temperature increases, the solubility level decreases. Okay. So now we're going to test it. Okay, so we're going to shake these three times each. And then, you've always heard to tap the top, but it's a bunch of male cow manure because you really have to tap the sides to get the carbon dioxide up. This does nothing, but this so helps it, it from spewing. So it doesn't spew. Yeah, so it won't spew. Okay, so we're going to pour it. Lily, Did what was that, that sound? That was the carbon dioxide escaping the can. When, when I opened it. Okay. You can see the bubbles rising. And those are carbon dioxide sealed bubbles. The pressure is trying to escape. So this is what happens in the inside of the can, and when we tap it, the bubbles rise up. Okay, we're going to screw this on tight, and shake this three times, and the carbon dioxide, the pressure build up, and it swelled it up. Now we did this to save time. So we're filling all of these sodas up to the same up to the up to the same level so we can keep it constant. And the sodas, they were refrigerated um, for 24 hours, and so they're all the same. So we can keep everything constant. constant. They're all the same temperature. Same baby bottles. Same, same balloons. You can see the carbon dioxide bubbles in that one, too. worked well too. You can see you can see the pressure. The pressure is really building. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna try diet. Okay. Lily, what do you should get? 
Um, some scientists say that the theory with tapping the size on the diet doesn't really work as well since some think that there is more carbon dioxide. Others think that there are more artificial sweeteners in it, so it causes a chemical reaction. Yes. So as you see, it didn't work as well as the others did, tapping the sides. Pressure. The pressure caused it to speed. Yes. And it looks like it has more fizz than the other ones, too. like the diet right here diet exploded diet. because as scientists said it has more carbon dioxide in it than other sodas or the chemical reaction so yes. it seems to be right and these two are about the same size so our conclusion is that the diet, the diet soda Coke had more carbon dioxide built up and that is what caused it to explode off and then the Coca-Cola and the Sprite look about the same so they had the same amount of carbon dioxide okay now we're going to explain to you why a drink goes flat yes okay so carbon dioxide soda is <laughs> trying to be in <laughs> carbon, carbon dioxide in the soda, tries to, to be, be with equi equal equilibrium with the air. Carbon, the carbon dioxide's air, which causes it to go flat. The carbon dioxide escapes, and which causes it to go flat. And so that's, that's a bummer right. for you, because now your drink is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Lily. To a long day's work. Long day's work, yeah. 